Hi, this is Laura Rogers, and I have a quickie workflow screencast for you today based on a workflow that I did at work. Um, I worked for a healthcare company, and we had someone that wanted to create a patient list on their SharePoint site and have um, each patient gets assigned to a case manager, and they wanted that case manager to receive an email as soon as the patient's added to uh, approve or reject the adding of that patient to the list. So this is pretty simple. So here's a patient list on our SharePoint site. And we're going, we have a case manager column. And we're going to, that's the person that we're going to send the email to. So now we're in SharePoint Designer. File, new workflow. We're going to say new patient. the patient list and we're going to make this workflow run when the new item is created. We don't need any conditions and we just need to send an email. So we're going to send an email to do a workflow lookup which lets us pick a field in the list and we're going to pick the case manager. And we're going to say please approve new patient. And then um, in this email, we want to just go ahead and put all the information about the patient in the email because the whole goal here is to make it easy on the approvers. So we want the approvers to not have to go to a bunch of trouble. We don't have to want them to have to click in a bunch of different places. So um, that's the whole idea behind the screencast is to show we want to make it simple, simple for these people so that they will use SharePoint and they won't get frustrated and they will go ahead and, and approve the items that they need to approve without... Um, without it being too complicated for them. So we're going to say patient and we're going to put all the information right in the email. So we just pick the fields in the current item. So we only have a couple. I'm just doing these lookups that just let us pick fields that exist in the list to insert into the email. And this is where we get to the cool part. So we want them to have a link in the email that takes them directly to the approve or eject screen. So this is a SharePoint list that's got approval turned on and we want to we want to go to the approve or eject screen. So what does that screen look like and what's the URL? So I'm going to drop down box on one of these items and choose approve or eject. And this is the page that we want to point, to point them to when they get the email. So I'm just going to copy this URL and let's see what it looks like. Click here to approve or reject. And we're going to make this a URL to that page. Okay, ooh, what happens when we paste it? Okay, so all this source stuff we don't really need in this situation. So the very last thing that we're going to need to copy in our URL is the ID equals. So we're going to need that ID. And we're going to need the ID to equal the ID of the current item that they created. So they're going to click here to approve or reject. Okay. So our workflow is pretty simple, it's just got one action. So now that we've created the workflow and it's saved, we're going to go ahead and try this on our site. So we're going to go to our patient list and create a new patient. Um, we have a case manager SharePoint group on the site. So right now there are just two of us in it. I'm going to pick myself. I'll click OK and let's see if my workflow kicks off. It says that it's in progress. My email has arrived. Please approve new patient. It's got all my patient information. 
got who created the item and click here to approve or reject it. And look at that. It takes me right to the approval. There's the patient's name and I can go ahead and say, yay, I love it. Great approval. Okay, got it. And done. So there's your very, very extremely simple workflow of the day. Thanks.